This is the brand new Jazzy Passport. This is the Jazzy Passport uh, that's made by Pride Mobility, one of the largest manufacturers of power wheelchairs and scooters. This is the new version of the Jazzy Passport. The other one was silver. This one is black with a few uh, addition to make it better. Okay, so let's cover this. This this is a portable power chair. Um, so the owner's manual is here. So this power chair here is a portable folding power chair with lithium batteries. So if you travel with this power chair, I'll show you how to fold it and all that kind of good stuff. But the power chair weighs. 54 pounds without the battery pack, 61 pounds with the battery pack inside the chair. And I'll show you how to fold it and I'll show you how to take the battery pack out. But it's the beautiful slip design that we have here. And you have in the front a foot plate that flips up, okay? You also have a little basket down under here to keep your, to, actually your charger's already here. Your charger, is in the box right here, which I'm not going to pull out. We're just going to use another one for the presentation. But your charger is in here for your for your power chair. You have a removable cushion. This cushion can be removed. So if you want to put your own cushion, which is an addition, you can do that now with this this chair. The seat height from here to the ground, not with the cushion, without the cushion, is 19 inches. From the seat pant to here is 19 inches. The seat itself is 17 and a half by 16 and a half. 17 and a half by 16 and a half. It comes with a safety belt, of course, and you have a drain cup holder right here, and your joystick is on the right side, and you have a swing away on your joystick. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side, and it would swing to the opposite side. The arms on this chair do flip up, so when they flip up, this is what you have left right here. So you can see, you can see what you have left. So if you're going to slide in from the side, this might be in the way a little bit. So these are your flip-up arms right here. You can see the turning radius on the chair. Let me get it forward a little bit. This is a rear-wheel drive chair, so it turns around the rear. So it takes a little bigger turn because you're turning around the rear. Okay. You have two motors on this chair. These are not these are not your cheap little motors that you have on the wheel. These are actual motors with cylinders. Each wheel has a motor. So if I turn the power off right now and I want to push this chair, well, you can see it's sliding because it's in gear. But there's a little yellow lever in front. If I turn the lever down like that on both sides, now I can push the chair. Okay? It's not an easy roll, but it's a neutral roll, okay? That's your neutral levers there. Back in gear. Turn the power back on. This chair has a weight capability of 250 pounds. So a lot of people call me and they're above the 250, they're 280, 290. I would not recommend this chair. You would not be comfortable in here. We don't have a bigger one. We only carry the passport because it fits most people. This is the only one we have, okay? Now remember, when you order this chair, let me turn the power off. It comes with a lithium battery pack, which I'm gonna pull out right now. It just pulled right out. It comes with a battery, a lithium battery pack, okay? This battery pack weighs seven pounds. I'm going to put it over here so you can see it. Now, if you're going to travel, the airline industry will technically will not allow that battery pack to be taken on an airline. Okay? Pride Mobility makes another battery pack three quarters that size, a little bit smaller than this one. It's just the right size that it's approved for airlines. So if you're going to take this and you plan on traveling on an airline, you're going to need to have the smaller battery pack. So when you order this chair, you can order it with a smaller battery pack, but if you order with a smaller battery pack, your total distance is about six miles. Six miles of travel time. This one is between 10 and 11 miles, okay? Between 10 and 11 miles. And that all depends on the weight of the user, if you're going uphill. 
what kind of surface you are. So when you order this chair, if you want to have the battery pack that's approved for the airline, you have to let us know ahead of time. It's the same battery pack, a little bit smaller, then you can take your chair on the airline and it's approved. This battery pack is just a little too big. Technically, it's not approved. Okay, so just give you a heads up. Now, let's see how we fold this power chair. It's been a while since I fold one, so I guess you just fold the foot plate first. Behind the power chair right here, there is a pouch. You can keep your charger, your stuff in there, but right below here, you see those two yellow handles, okay? Right there, you can see them right there. If I squeeze those, and I fold the seat forward, and I keep pushing down, okay? You can hear it click. So now, you can see the chair is folded up. You can actually see the caster wheels in the front. You can actually see the drive wheels in the back. You can actually see the actual cylinder motors that go to each wheel. These are actual motors, okay? You can see the chargers in the bag under the, under the foot plate. Now, the way it is here is 54 pounds, okay? This is 54 pounds, not the lightest to lift up, okay? So um, a lot of people, they want a portable chair, but it's still heavy, 54 pounds. So if you can lift 54 pounds, um, for me, it's probably gonna be no problem, but I'd rather not I'd rather not lift 54 pounds if I don't have to, okay? So, if you're gonna, I was trying to do it standing up like this a second ago. If you're gonna unfold it, bring it down like this. Do, make it easy on yourself. Squeeze the levers here, okay? There we go, okay, I got it. So when you squeeze these levers, push down a little bit so they unlock. See how easy that is? If you don't squeeze out, push down on the chair, the levers are tight. So push down, squeeze the levers, bring it back up. So we're learning together as we're going along here. The battery pack, you can see there's a slot on both sides. It slides right in by itself. So you slide the battery pack in where the slots are at. And it locks automatically and we should have power back on. You have five speed on this chair. <clears throat> the top speed when you're driving this chair is 3.6 miles an hour. So the ground clearance on this chair is uh, three inches. So you got three inches below the motors here. Okay, that's ground clearance. As I said, it turns on itself. It's mid-wheel, it's a real wheel drive chair, so it'll turn on itself. And as I said, if you have the, the regular battery pack, you're gonna get anywhere from nine to 11 miles, roughly in that area, depending on the weight of the user. Yeah? If you have the smaller battery pack, it's gonna be between five and seven miles. It all depends. With the smaller battery pack though, you can go to an airline. So the width of this chair, this width right here is 23 and a half. So you can say under 24 inches, 24 inches or less. The length of the power chair is 40 inches from the back to here. Now, if you flip the foot plate, you're probably going to be a lot less. So if it's for transportation, if you have a car, a small car, you don't want to take it apart. So from the back, now you're at 33 inches. So with the foot plate folded up, the length of the chair from the back wheels to the front wheel tip, with the front wheels tip, with the front wheels tip backward. Okay, because if you're going forward, they're going to be going that way. So from the front of the foot plate to here, we've got about 33 inches. With the foot plate down, just like the manual says, 40 inches. You do have some suspension right here. You can't hardly see it, but there is some suspension on the front two forks. And it said, let's let me recap. Your seat is 17 and a half by 16 and a half. It's a removable, removable cushion. When you charge your chair, you can charge it right here, right through the port that we do all the charging of the chair. Your charger is in the box. You can also take your battery pack in the house and charge the battery pack, leave the chair in the car, take the battery pack in the house and charge the battery pack directly into the house. You don't have to bring the chair in. 
It's set up for right-handed. It can go left-handed. We can switch everything around. As I said, it's a removable cushion. You do have a safety belt. You've got 12-inch solid tires here, 8-inch solid, I mean, these are air tires, I'm sorry. And the front tires are solid 8-inch caster wheels. You do have a 3-inch ground clearance. The chair folded without the 7-pound battery lithium pack is 54 pounds. With the battery pack, it's 61 pounds. If you have the smaller battery pack folded, it's still 54 pounds, but now you're at the, I think the smaller battery pack is 5 pounds, 2 pounds lighter. Okay, so you'd be a total of 59 pounds with the back, if you leave the battery pack in the chair when you fold it. Okay, this is the new Jazzy Passport. A very easy chair to drive, very non responsive. So you have five speed. This is your fifth speed, three and a half, 3.6 miles an hour. This would be your first speed here. This is your first speed. So it doesn't respond very fast. It's a very easy chair to learn. This is the Jazzy Passport, the new one they just came out with a couple months ago. The Jazzy Passport in black, available right now. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.